Hey guys, what's up? Today's video is going to be on how to restore and upgrade your iPhone 3G, iPod Touch first generation, and iPhone first generation. Um, you're going to be able to upgrade from any version at all. Uh, 2.2, 2.2.1, 2.1, 2.1.1, uh, 3.0, whatever. Right now I am on a jailbroken 3.0, but I will be ha showing you a full restore, um, upgrade, uh, restore slash upgrade, and how to jailbreak. And then following this video, there will be a another video on how to uh, set up Cydia with all your sources and how to use it properly so you do not screw up your phone or iPod you know, I know there's a lot of people that can jailbreak and then they get stuck they're like what do I do with Cydia now I'm jailbroken now what I'm going to be showing you how to install uh, some main things and that will get you started and then you can learn more by on yourself or asking me questions so let's get started uh, depending on what version your iPhone or iPod Touch has depending on what you're going to have to do if you're on uh, version 2.2.1 um, you're gonna have to do a shift click restore if you're on if you're on basically 2. Point whatever 2. Point any anything that isn't 3.0 you're gonna have to shift click restore in order to figure out how to do this we're going to go to settings it's gonna be kinda hard to see but you'll get the point settings general about and then right at a version, it'll be in between available and serial number version. Mine says 3.0, 7A, 341. Uh, that's just the version number. Uh, since I'm on 3.0, I just have to click restore and it's done. Um, if you're on 2.2.1 though, you're gonna have to download these in the description. Um, either way, you're gonna have to download your file in the description because when you jailbreak you're going to have to use it so let's uh, get this started since I'm on a time limit um, if this video goes over the time limit I will be uh, cutting it in half and making it a two-part video so make sure you look out for that um, let's get started I'm just going to be doing this video for demonstrational purposes obviously you all know how to do a point and click for restore if you're on 3.0 I'm going to be showing you how to do this if you're on 2.2.1 what you're going to want to do is hold down your shift key and while you're holding it down press the restore button now all you have to do is locate your uh... the proper um, firmware on your desktop there will be links to the right of this video for all three firmwares to a mega upload download since that seems to be the fastest for the iphone first generation iphone 3g and ipod touch first generation this video does not support iPhone 3GS or iPod Touch 2G, uh, so please do not ask me about that. Um, so once you have this dialog, just click on the uh, downloaded PSW and click open. Now, iTunes will go through this whole extracting software, blah 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 blah. I'm just going to sit back and let you guys watch. I'm not going to speed up the video, cut it, nothing, just so you guys can see exactly what happens. Um, I'm just going to kind of sit here quietly as it does this, um, which is probably why this video is going to end up being so long, because I'm just going to let this uh, do it on its own. So I'm just going to show you guys what your iPod and computer screen will do.
if you guys haven't already noticed, the restore process does take uh, a couple minutes. But uh, like I said, I'm not going to be fast forwarding this video. I'm not going to be cutting it nothing because I want to show you guys exactly uh, what should happen so that uh, you don't have any questions. Um, I'd rather make a whatever two, three, four part video uh, showing and explaining in detail everything rather than making a 10 minute video and having everybody going what I don't understand blah 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 uh, it's much easier this way uh, maybe it's a little more time consuming this way for me uh, but I don't mind it's definitely worth it plus I did have a friend of mine request this video so I am doing that for him and basically all of my subscribers 